Brownie was saved from that ditch by a good Samaritan and just today returned home from the vet where he had surgery for the BBs that were shot into his eyes and body. But now that Morganton community wants to know who did this to Brownie. Cause see, she's always a happy dog running to meet me when I come home and coming all the way to the door. Edith Pritchard is Brownie's mom, a Jack Russell mix that was born at Pritchard's house seven years ago. Pritchard lives in a tight knit community in Morganton, so Brownie usually runs around outside, then runs back home. But one day, Brownie didn't come back. Some way or another, she got wandered away from the neighborhood. But then about a quarter of a mile away, they found Brownie in a ditch and it was covered in snow and she could, that he couldn't move. Christy Fries and her mom helped save Brownie from the ditch and reconnect her with Pritchard. But instead of relief that her dog was found, that's when the real bad news started. He said, Edith, I don't think she can see. I said, well, what happened to her eyes? What happened, the vet told the family, was that Brownie was shot in the eyes. This dog was tied and shot at close range with this BB gun over a hundred times. I couldn't believe that anybody could put that many small bullets in a dog. Pritchard says when she used to call Brownie's name, he would wag his tail and run over in excitement, but now he doesn't respond. So in addition to being blinded, Pritchard also says she thinks Brownie is deaf. To me, this is torture. This was torture to a defenseless, beautiful little animal that hurt no one. Now, no one is in custody for doing this to Brownie. Burke County Sheriff's Office tells me animal control is investigating. Free says they need to step up the investigation to find the person who did this. You need to be in jail and right there to hold a dog down and shoot it that many times and shoot it in its eyes and put its eyes out that's that's uncalled for i would want to know why they were so evil that they could do an animal like this if you have any information about who may have done this you're asked to please call the burke county sheriff's office and if you'd like to help support brownie and their family we have more information posted on our website on how to do that in this story Reporting in Morganton, Anne-Marie Haggerty, WBTV News on your side.